the whole world is reeling from COVID. Slowly but surely, it's starting to open back up. But you know, we would be fools to think that that the world is is as we have once known it. And I'm saying, right. to say, many artists, they, you know, they don't necessarily live off royalties. They never had uh, show right. or where they fed their family. But over the course of the last year, many of them have been grounded. Where are they performing? Can you give some advice to, to artists out there? What are some other avenues of, of opportunities that they should be looking into so that they never find themselves back in this position again if they're unable to perform? Are there any, any other avenues or, or revenue streams or things that you think that artists uh, should be looking into to, to make sure that they have money coming in, even when they can't physically go out there and touch the stage? I think that a lot of young artists um, need to realize that, yes, times have changed. And in order for them to be successful, they have to stay consistent. The, the internet has made it very um, challenging to break, to cut through right? Because everybody is like, a, you know, I think, you know, there's a, there's a gang of records coming out every week, right? And so in order to, for you to kind of make some noise, you have to stay consistent. So I think that in order to get to a point where the phones are going to be, you're going to be in the incoming call business, meaning calls are coming in, people are saying, hey, we want artist X to perform on our stage um, uh, next week or next month and we are willing to pay him or her uh, X amount of dollars, right? In order for that to happen, you have to make some significant noise. In order to make significant noise, you have to drop consistently, meaning that you need to have something in the marketplace coming every, I would say, 30 to 45 days, right? 45 days being the max. Something needs to come out every 30 days song, video, freestyle, um, um, cover, um, something online that you can share with your fans or feed to your fan base every you know, 30 days or so. Um, and, and until something connects. And when it connects, if it connect, you know, at the, but at the same time, not only just dropping something, but you also have to do the work behind it. Meaning like you have to feed it to your fans. You have to, you know, um, you know, be in contact with your fans. I ask this of my artists all the time or and, and new artists all the time. Do you know who your number one fan is? Most people don't know who their number one fan is. They haven't taken the time out to see who's the person that's the most vocal person in their like hemisphere. It's like, oh my God, I love you. Oh my God, I'll do anything. That person, you want them to be your biggest champion and, 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 and you should be interacting with them. They should be the person that gets the music first possibly or they're seeding it to everyone else. Maybe they're the president of your fan club, but, but take the time out to take a, a, make a really smart approach to build your base. I think in today's climate, a lot of people from, suffer from wanting like popcorn success, meaning like microwave popcorn. You put it in the mi microwave, boom, it's, it's arrived. No, it, yep. it, it generally doesn't work like that. Nine times out of 10, you, there's a lot of work that needs to be put in in order for people to get to know you. Because again, remember every Friday, I think Spotify is like, it's like 60 some odd thousand artists that are dropping new music every Friday. Like, yep. how do you think you're gonna cut through if you know, you're just dropping one record and being like waiting, sitting back waiting for you know, success to call you? That's, it just doesn't work like that. You know, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. And so, um, how do you increase your chances for the phone to, for the for the phones to ring to be in the incoming call business? It's it's consistency. It's consistency. How do you afford to drop music and drop videos every every other week or every 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 thirty days? You got to build a team. You got to take your time out to find out who those people are that are along your journey that are willing to work possibly for free. Possibly those people that are do would do what I did years ago and be the guy who makes two hundred fifty dollars a week. You know that that like do it do it for a minimum because they really just want to learn and they want to be in the business and they want to assist and, and play their part. That's not an easy process. That's not an easy process. And 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 the greats have done it along the way. You know the greats who have done it before me 
you know, whether it be Ahmed er Erdogan, whether it be Craig Common, whether it be Julie Greenwald, whether it be John Janik, whether it be Jimmy Iovine, whether it be uh, Puff or, or, or Jay Prince, James Prince, or, or, or Slim and Baby, you know, they've all taken the time out to build a crew that will, you know, of people that are dreamers that really wanted to be and take, take things to the next level. That's the hard part. That's the hard part. Cause that's not the part you see on TV. That's not the part, that's not the part that they play in the video. You don't see that part. And that is where the magic is made. And that's where the big books are made. If you can do that, then you, you, can, you can find success. Success will find you. You will be in the incoming call business. And that's a sweet business to be in. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.